wait for it. In the spring of 2016, I got an email from the good folks at Broadway.com, Paul and Beth, asking if I wanted to possibly vlog from backstage at Hamilton. Um, my first response, knee-jerk response, was no. No. Uh, my hands were full over at the Richard Rogers Theater. Uh, it was a very busy time, and I just couldn't imagine fitting anything else in as much as I wanted to. I went home and told Nicolette my thoughts. Uh, the, the very wise and brilliant Nicolette Robinson, and she told me, number one, those are my favorite thing to watch, so uh, do it. You're doing it. And make it good so that I want to watch it. And number two, um, I think it would be really amazing for you to do this, to have a time capsule, to have some way to remember um, this moment in your life, this very special moment in your life. And she was right. I sent them an email the next day, and I said, I would love to take you up on your offer if it's still on the table, and they said it was. And uh, for eight weeks, I just um, got to uh, walk around backstage with a camera that they gave me. And, and it was really one of the, you know, most creative, exciting, uh, wonderful little um, uh, uh, ancillary things that I got to do around the Hamilton trip. So leading up to the Hamilton movie, the release of this um, uh, film, of the staged show, uh, Broadway.com asked me to revisit the series and I was excited to do so. So we're going to watch together and I will give you a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. I hope you dig it, thanks for following along. Here we go, I'm starting the show now. Broadway.com, it's the first show of eight. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I have some good stuff to show you these eight weeks. I have great plans. I was so nervous that I would have nothing to show you, truly, that I, and, and my plans were light, light plans. It's gonna be a ball. We have the Anderson Cooper talk back that we did with the cast for the, for the uh, Tonys for Sirius. That was so much fun, getting the gang back together again. Pip, I think what I meant about the gang back together is like the creative team had not been around anymore. You know, once a show opens, they all disappear. You build this thing together and then Tommy goes away and, and David goes away and Paul, you know, we, we didn't see them the way we did like when we were making this thing in our little cocoon at the public theater. So it was really nice to have everybody on the stage all together again. <laughs> Julie James! After Anderson Cooper, which was a lot of fun, now we go to um, this other gig that we have uh, for ESPN. David and I wrote a song, an original song. Woo! And we're going to perform it. That was the best, you know. We. Um, the fact that I was a part of this ensemble meant that we got other opportunities to be creative together outside of the show. ESPN hired us for their upfronts and David and I right now are doing that uh, animated show together on, on Apple TV, plug. It's called Central Park, very fun. I'm in a different dressing room right now. We're in the Lion King dressing room. David and I are about to do our run through for ESPN upfronts, our original song that we wrote. It's been a full day, uh, the excitement Never stops with Hamilton. We don't want it to stop. Uh, it was so cool. Sitting there talking with Anderson and um, being on stage all together like that, we don't often. You're get so a tired to. all the time. It's a good tired, but oh my God. So exhausted all the time. <laughs> at, this, at this time in the show. So it was a great morning. All we were missing was Renee, but um, we'll see her in just a little bit. We got a show tonight. Long day, busy day, but all good. Mind is a mile a minute. We watch to mind a million and more within it. I don't know where we found the stamina for things like this, truly. Um, but it was uh, it was the most like fit, most in shape I, I've ever been in my life. Eight shows a week. There's nothing like it. I gained 30 pounds the next year. Just on the first really beautiful day of spring and now we have a Hamilton musical to do. Well first I have to get some um, coffee and then we have a Hamilton musical to do. No 
better way to spend a Monday. The reality that coffee shop is closed. It's my favorite coffee shop across the street. No longer. It's the last thing we're doing today. So you drink a little coffee, you put your music on, you pump yourself up, which we'll do in a minute, and you get ready to do a show. Because it's Monday night, so um, I have friends here who are off from their respective Broadway shows. Billy Porter is here tonight. Maybe we'll take the camera and um, see his first reactions to the show. He hasn't seen it on Broadway yet. It was the time of lemonade. We <laughs> Come on, Kimmy. We, uh, that album had just come out. The whole come out. The whole album was unpacking that great work of art. Before we did this work of art every night. Um, <laughs> These bitches think they grown pouring drinks for bitches and things after the show. You ain't grown. Cheers. You ain't grown. Uh, gotcha. This was, it, you know, this might have been my favorite part of doing the vlog was because there were people that had inspired me and heroes that were coming to the show every single night and, and they were coming backstage already and we were having these really um, open-hearted, vulnerable conversations about what they'd just seen and, um, and their careers and, you know, lot, lots of things and so the fact that I was vlogging meant that I could get little pieces of that. You know what I was saying was feel sorry for me because I never got cast in it. That was the intention yeah. behind that. I mean your voice changed my life. Your voice and your spirit. Um, all of you guys there would be no Hamilton for me without Rent. That was the show that changed my life. That was the show that brought me to the theater. So to have a moment like this with Anthony was everything that I got. That you know, he's here in my dressing room. I'm gonna tell him right now. And Anthony actually does. Let me let you let him hear. I was um, moved to tears and had total goosebumps again for the fourth time. So to hear that coming from you is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's just a, a completion of the circle, and you the circle. I've told you, um, beauty school dropout <laughs> was, was, there was before beauty school dropout <laughs> and after beauty school dropout because you see, it had never, somebody, one of my classmates at Carnegie, Billy went to Carnegie, I went to Carnegie, one of my classmates when I first got there said, hey, you, oh, you've never heard beauty school dropout? Sit down in that chair, <laughs> shut up for like seven minutes and because 908. 908. But I digress. <laughs> Listen to it immediately. <laughs> if you can, if you can put in a clip right now, put in a clip of it. <laughs> but the thing about the thing about that was, it was like, it was like, like yeah. we grew up singing. Right. I, that I had never thought of that. Right. That oh, you can yeah. sing Greece like that. Yeah. And so Billy and let me know that there was a there could possibly be a, a place in the theater for a voice like mine. I don't sing like Billy. I've never sang like Billy, but it wasn't the typical voice that you heard singing Grease or anything in the theater, quite frankly. And so he let me know that there could be a place for me. Nay nay. What are you doing here, Renee? I'm here because the show just ended, and I knew that these three men that I admire and love Angelica so Skyler, you guys. in the same place. Look at this. This is what happens. Look at my life right now. And They're and my friends. I'm going to pour you a drink. And you, when I come, we're talking about Carnegie days. Oh. You were there with Billy. Well, no, we were in school together. We were uh, in school together. Yes, we were. You were younger. I was younger. You were younger then. You were younger. And Renee comes in and she's got connections to both of the guys, right? She went to college with Billy and she also, she was the final Mimi in Rent and Anthony was obviously the first Mark. So clearly I didn't do that well in the combination. But literally I went because he was so, I was like so intimate. I mean like I was so blown away by these kids that were like juniors and sophomores that were like just there like on a summer probably. What were you trying to? 
pay for that tuition? Yeah, I was paying for my tuition doing my work study program. Work yeah, study, yes. <laughs> that shit ain't free. And then and you then, got to pay for college, even in the eighties. Yes. <laughs> it was not the eighties. <laughs> now I'm gonna disown you if you gonna lie to the people. Cheers. <laughs> Come on, Last I gotta work. Last Mimi, Last first Mimi, mark. First mark. Last Mimi, first mark. Five hundred, five thousand, six hundred minutes. Okay. Is that the right key? No. It's That's not right. Right. Anthony, now I saw Anthony do a, a, do a solo show in London while I was there, and he... I don't know if he knew I was there, but he does wait for it. He knew I went to see him afterwards, of course, but he does wait for it in his show, which is super special. The very first theater audition I had, I sang La Vie Bohème, his part in La Vie Bohème, so super special. I almost forgot. We have questions. Hashtag Ask Odom Jr. and I will Let's bring this back. If you have any questions... Hashtag Ask Odom Jr. on Twitter or anywhere, and I'll see them, and I'll, I'll answer them in the next behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Ask Odom Jr., has it been hard dealing with Hamilton's increasing popularity? How do you feel about it? Love you. I love you, too. Thank you, Louise. Um, it is not hard, actually. Um, it's sometimes, uh, you know, it takes stamina because uh, it's a marathon and not a sprint. You know, we've been doing this show for about two years almost now, roughly. And so um, it's, a, it's a long road and uh, sometimes we get tired, but um, I, I love this show. And so I, I loved it kind of before the world knew about it. So I'm thrilled with its popularity. I'm not tired of it at all. Still this feel that way. At M Theater Kid. Love the show. Very grateful. Ask Thank you, Lynn Manuel. Do you have any advice for aspiring performers? Work hard. Study hard. You know, stay in class. Stay reading. Stay inspired. You can do it. You can do anything. Still my advice. I still agree with myself. I will let you know if I no longer agree with the stuff I'm saying on this hey, thing. Good morning. Okay, so uh, ESPN is this morning. We're here. It is uh, 6.17 a.m. Um, help us out. <laughs> <laughs> they came to us and they, they asked us to write a song that was sort of sports themed and um, took their brand into consideration and their, their slogan this year is uh, things happen at the speed of live. In sports and so that was our our sort of key phrase it took about two months to write this tune that we're pretty proud of it like it it came out okay because yeah it's one shot we just have one time to do it and um, hopefully not embarrass you or our parents <laughs> and loved ones so um, David do you have anything to say <laughs> Let us not embarrass our parents. It's <laughs> my favorite. These pants are too tight. So I was seeing a bit. Tony nominated stars of the smash hit Broadway musical Hamilton. Tony nominated. This was all after the Tony nominations. That was. It was such a. an amazing thing. A once in a lifetime thing, you know, really, to have been nominated with so many people in the cast, you know? That was the best part about it, that we got to share that moment with so many members of the company. The whole company, really, obviously, with the, with the show nominations and stuff. Amazing. That moment we share at the speed of life. Broadway.com. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tune in next week. I plan to have a really special guest. If I don't have him next week, I'll have him the week after that. Um, but he's one of my favorite people at this theater. He's... I know who it is. I, I think I, I know who it is. I love him. But thank you so much for watching. See you next week. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching again. Um, this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to unpacking the rest of these episodes with you. Can't wait for July the 3rd. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for watching.